Hey there, how you doing today? Sons and Daughters of God, July 22nd. Too much is at stake to waver now. James 1, 6 says, Let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Some people have no firmness of character. They are like a ball of putty and can be pressed into any conceivable shape. This weakness, indecision, and inefficiency must be overcome. There is an indomitableness about true Christian character, which cannot be molded or subdued by adverse circumstances. Men and women must have moral backbone and integrity, which cannot be flattered, bribed, or terrified. We have a powerful enemy. When men give themselves over to be the slaves of Satan, he does not manifest the enmity toward them, which he does to those who bear the name of Christ and give themselves to the service of God. He hates them with a deadly hatred. He knows that he can grieve Jesus by bringing them under the power of his deceptions, by injuring them, by weakening their faith. Satan will permit those who have a degree of rest who are bound as slaves to his chariot, for they are his willing captives. But his enmity is aroused when the message of mercy reaches his bond slaves and they seek to wrench themselves away from his power, that they may follow the true shepherd. The conflict between the soul and Satan begins when the captive begins to tug at the chain and longs to be free. Those who really desire to be taught of God and to walk in his way have the sure promise that if they feel their lack of wisdom and ask of God, he will give liberally and upbraid not. The apostle says, let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Believe, believe that God will do just what he has promised. Keep your prayers ascending and watch, work and wait. Fight the good fight of faith. As long as we sail with the current of the world, we need neither canvas nor oar. It is when we turn squarely about to stem the current that our labors begin. Have a great day. You are a son and daughter of God.